So here we are, on with some stone and rock and other bits, ready to build a sub base. Something quite uh, quick and easy to make, but not tiny. And with some optional basic, very basic electrics at the end, which will make your life so much easier uh, with regarding to uh, automatic uh, access for your sub and or boat. Right, okay. So, that'll do. Not too far from the place we're going to buy the thing from. So in this valley, what we need to do is we don't want this thing about... We want it lowish enough to put another half height one to the right of it. If you don't want it too low, otherwise the water laps over the top of it when it's built and it's super annoying. Uh, so we just want to do it until we're about there. That's great. So that's just a bit out of depth. Back up. Back up. Back up. So about there should be right. So we'll have it just on the bottom of that log there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. So that's a good start. I like to have a platform next to my sub or boats. Um, I know some people are going to say that's a waste of storage space, but I like it to be pretty mobile in the base. It adds a little bit of overhead um, upkeep, but it's worth it. You know, I, I, I would say this is a. Um, you could keep it the base like this or wipe. You know, um, depending on the server, of course. It's not going to be super strong, so it could get raided. So you could have it as a, a secondary base if you wish. If you, in fact, I recommend you probably start with a two by one or something because you need the garage door blueprint. Without that, this is a real nightmare because you have to almost keep taking the doors off, the double metal doors off, to get your, your stuff inside. So anyway, so this is going to be a platform. I would say we have our main doorway to the base here and we can keep it we'll have a shop front there just to see out in the doorway there wall here this can be a loot room here and as i said it's not going to be super powerfully strong you could upgrade the whole lot to metal if you want uh, so this if we have these two as loot rooms this is a tc room with our better loot because you've got to go through more doors. So let's assume we're going to have garage doors here. So you've got single door, four satchels worth, garage door, nine satchels, garage door and one loot room there, another nine satchels. So not loads of satchels or rockets to get in really. Rockets are obviously a lot less than satchels. But if we put another door here and another door here, that's effectively a single metal door and one, two, three garage doors to get through to your loot. And that's not bad. If the thing's built out of stone, uh, I've got all wipe with a base like this and never been touched. Um, and I also put a few windows in. Some people don't like that. But I often find that bases I've got a few windows in tend to survive longer. I think because people look in and they see there's not that much in there to take. I'm not going to waste my explosives. Um, other times I've just got my base levelled. So, but hey, it's rust. We all know what it's like. So, garage door is going to go here for your entrance and exit, exit into your sub bay. The, the uh, foundations here are low enough, uh, easily for a boat. With a sub, um, I've tested this as you will see with the uh, large sub, and uh, it's fine. You can um, go up and down in that sub with shift and control. As you approach the door, if you hold shift to give it a bit of buoyancy, it, it's slides in over those foundations nicely. Uh, so you could put a roof directly over that, but if you do that, you'll have trouble getting in and out of the sub. It's not worth it. I know it's a load of extra upkeep because each one of these half walls is past the same as a full wall. Um, but that's how it is, unfortunately. So we'll get all that sorted. 
Um, yeah, so you're gonna have a nice lot of room here. So we'll get this all stoned up now. And then we'll apply all our doors. So you can convert this to metal later on, depending on if you feel it would attract too much attention. This wall, I would recommend doing metal, because you can't see it from the outside, and that means that they get in the here, they can't soft side this uh, if I, if it, as if it was stone. Um, so I'll upgrade that in a second. And it'll encourage them to go through this door plus this door, so it's just wasting more explosives for them. No point in doing any of this more than stone because the garage door entrance in is your weakest point. Uh, nine satchels, a stone wall's ten. So, what's the point of upgrading the stone wall? Now, of course, you could put behind me here a wall and another garage door here, really sectioning it, sectioning, sectioning it off. Uh, so it takes more to raid if they come in through the boat area, but for me that closes it in a bit and that's not what I like. That's probably a little bit of a world player in me. I like a bit of PvP, but I do like a base that's nice to come home to, as it were. I'm going to put that there and there and make them out of wood. Just because I think it looks good. Oh, damn it. He says. Rotate it, I want to destroy it. Oh no, why can't I? Oh, I haven't got a TC down. Okay, TC, let's get made quickly. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got high stacks uh, here. This is not a creative server, it is a PvP server, but it is a high gather rate server, which I am using just for this purpose. Um, why am I using it over a I'm just gonna make that stone for now. Uh, over a creative server, because I couldn't find a decent creative server. Well, they're all decent, but they're all flat land, and I wanted one that was looking like normal rust with trees, the normal menus, etc. I'll put a little bit of that in. I think it just add something. Right, what have I missed here? That needs to be stone. This needs to be stone. And that needs to be stone. And we've missed our little triangle there. And then we just need a little bit of that wood to stand back. Very much. Right. Now let's drop our shop fronts in. I oh, will just pop and get those. And thanks to the magic of editing and hopefully a seamless edit, we now have some goodies. Right, let's get some doors on here. First things first. We will have this on. And we'll have our sh little shop front there. Always good to see out. This door's great, obviously. It was from a streamer watch a couple of months ago with the face punch uh, Twitch. Uh, offers that come on. Very good door because you obviously can see out. Uh, shop front there. We'll have this garage door there. Put our code lock on. Uh, 
will lock it all up, seeing as it is a PvP server. Okay, so now we're, we're getting there. Uh, we've got three more garage doors here. Garage doors so much better than double doors. Double doors, four satchels to get through, garage nine. Um, no brainer if you can get hold of them. I know you need gears to make them, but uh, they're a great upgrade to, to any base. I'm sure most of you know that. Uh, but if you don't, definitely get them. Worth their weight in gold. Someone's normally selling them on the server. If you're struggling to get them, they drop in normal crates, but the drop rate is low. And we will have... Uh, we will have door frame there. Uh, the reason I've coloured these two so you can see, I mean, you could alert. It's a smallish base, so anyone who's doing raiding can tell that's probably a loot room. Um, so I'm not really giving much away there. And it also gives you some bearings if you wake up in this room and all doors are white, you'd know which way's uh, opposite there is the boat area. Okay, good. So let's, uh, let's lay out some loot rooms here. So I have got um, thoughts I had. Yeah. Let's make some salvage shelves in that room. This room I'm gonna do the the trick with the uh, triangle, which if you don't know, I'll show you in a second. Space will give you quite a lot of use. I like to send them around to the locks are facing each other. Just in case you ever decide to lock them, which these days I think is not really worth it. Uh, what else we got here? We got a couple of. Uh, just put our workbench down. I mean, you can put this wherever you want. You can put it in a boat area if you want, just to keep it out of the way. Um, but I think I'll have it here. Okay, and we'll have that little box next to that. Lovely. We'll have another large box here. Okay, we can put um, uh, a couple of boxes in here. You can really compress this room. You could put barbecues on top of these boxes as well uh, for even more storage. Uh, a barbecue, yeah, but I'm going to put the barbecue just here, I think. Just because uh, it's nice to have a barbecue and look at on the ocean. Lovely. Uh, right, we're also going to, let's sort this out. So, just for the moment, I'm just going to put this all in here. There we go. Lovely. Coming along. Okay, so our TC is just behind this wall here. And ideally, TC, which way around's that? Uh, 
Okay, this is this is getting painful. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Yeah, so the TC is over there, so we need the triangle this side. So to do that, I've got to get halfway up this wall to there. Put that on there, and that will give me a grounding. A bit of a mess, but you'll see how it works. Which I'm sure all of you are aware of. Anyway, as I said before. Let's sort that step out in a second. Get this sorted. So now we can put a select triangle. Lovely. I'm just going to upgrade that to wood so it doesn't break. But I recommend you do it stone or whatever you want. Uh, and now you can break all the stuff off on the outside. Because the shelf is done. Lovely. I might have that door open in. That's personal preference. There's benefits over the points to play. Uh, right, okay, so let us get the rest of our boxes, etc. And then we can lay this out nicely. That should go in there nicely. Just there we go. Now I recommend we upgrade these frames. Any frags. There they are. If you, I recommend you upgrade these frames to metal, not for the strength, because the stone is still stronger than a garage door. There's no point upgrading it normally uh, unless you've got an armor double door. But it does give you a couple more pixels within this room to get boxes in cleanly. So that's worth a hundred frags to not have that grief. So hopefully that should, provided I've got that back box snugged in properly, should, no, that's not perfect. So I might have that, that rear box might not be in as far as it should be. But you know what? That's pretty good. And as long as it's not showing through, <laughs> which it is, if I reverse that garage door, then it won't be but you can um, if you really tuck that back box in preferably before you do this shelf um, you will get that absolutely bang on it's just not quite there but still that's good enough for what we need uh, evil verse spelled e-v-i-l-w-u-r-s-t is a great base builder on youtube uh, a couple of years ago, I watched a lot of his videos when I was first playing Rust, uh, and he talks about hyper uh, compact loot rooms and does lots of cool stuff with bases to maximise their strength. Um, lots of good hints and tips there. Even if you don't build any of his particular bases, um, it, there's so many good good tips that come out of those videos. So I recommend you watch those. Um, okay, so so we can get to this one just to prove that. We'll put 71 frags in this one. This one's obviously, we'll just put a couple of bits of stone in this one. And the back one is empty. So to get to the back one, only just stand here and put your, your dot on the back corner is what I do. So you can see that's empty. TC is obviously easy to get to. Uh, and we will just very quickly, and I'm making a bit of a meal of this. Put one there. Now, I'm pretty sure. I don't normally do it. I'm pretty sure you can put another large box next to this. But I'm not going to bother. Because I find it a bit too fussy. And I find just putting another box there. A little box. And another one just here. Can I do it without standing on one? I've got anything else to stand on. So. Sometimes you have to stand on a box. So. Temporarily. And it's easy. And then you can access all this top row fairly comfortably. That one, big one, little one. We can pick this up. 
And there you go. We've got two nice loot rooms. I'm going to put... Uh, just for some nice drop box for when you come out of your boat. Stick that there. You can um, put your furnace next to it if you want. Lovely. Um, what else we got? I'm just about ready to go. Right, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got some role player goodies here. Because, you know, it doesn't want a nice base to come home to. See? Come on. Um, oh, I've got an extra light there. Lights are important. If you've got electric later on, then bomb and use it. And this base is pretty much ready to go. I will show you the sub coming in and out. But before I do that, I'm going to do also add the optional automatic um, uh, sub access which is an electrified uh, garage door so that when you approach it opens for you closes when you come in I think it's absolutely uh, essential you'll pick up most of the components while you're running around anyway gathering most of the stuff if you don't you can always add it later but I'm going to do it in one fell swoop before I show you the sub come in and out um, we'll just dump those in there some spares. Um, because it's just worth its weight in gold and you don't need many parts. I think about four electrical components, which I've brought with me, as you may have seen, which is solar panel to charge the battery. It can be any size battery, but if we're only using a small one because we only want to do that open and close uh, function. Door controller um, and the HBHF sensor, which senses when any player is nearby. And you can tell it to either activate or not depending on whether that player is authorized on your TC so for this let's just put these down and first things first as we've got no uh, shutters or another door here I'm gonna put this door closure here because they can pair sometimes even though it's supposed to be with the nearest door if I had a, a, a normal wall with a window in it here and I had wooden shutters you could pair this and it could pair to the shutters and I have had it before where shutters are opening and closing when people walk past the base which is pretty useless so but we haven't got that problem because the shop front is there um, also shop fronts just if you didn't know a wall is 10 satchels a shop front's 18 now bear in mind on here I've only got a stone frame which is the same pretty much the same strength as a wall from memory um, but yeah, they are midway between a steel wall and a, uh, a concrete wall, so they're not weaker in any way like a conventional window uh, placed in a wall is. Uh, they're pretty strong, so um, don't worry about that folding before a stone wall would. Uh, right, so first things first, we get this to paired. You can do it without powering it. To do it, you must unlock the door you want to pair it with and then tap on it, pair to door. Green light, even though it's got no power, means it has paired. Now lock your door. Brilliant. First bit done. We need a battery down. Uh, I've used a lot of space up in here, but I'd normally snug it. If I had a bigger base, I'd put it in its own room, but... Uh, we can literally put it anywhere. I don't know why I'm being fussy. Right, okay. I'll put it there, keep it all close to everything. But it doesn't need to be there, you can put it wherever you want. No, I'm going to put it there because it's annoying me, it's going to be in the way. There. The sensor goes outside the door, so as you approach. Have noticed with subs, when you're in the sub... Uh, oh, I've upgraded those floors. That's a bit of a silly error, I'll do that in a second. Uh, when you're in the sub, the sensor is less sensitive. It, it doesn't seem to detect you until you're right close. So, um, just be aware of that. When you're on a boat, it'll open quite readily as you approach. Oh, come on. Ooh. Try and get it as low as I can in water. That's nice. Uh, let me just upgrade those. That is a stupid error. Which. 
Yeah, by all means, make sure all your foundations aren't, aren't left as twig. Because your base will uh, <laughs> come apart in seconds if that's the case. Right, so um, let's get our wire tool. Which I have not brought with me. Too high coil, which also had that. Not a problem. Through the power of editing, we will rectify that in a couple of seconds. Three, two, one. Great. All good. Right, so let's get this thing wired up. So power output, we'll do the solar panel in a minute. Let's just get the power out, sorted out. So the barbecue is a little bit in the way. So to make it neat, I'm gonna bang that on there. And go around the door frame, the side. Along the top. So this power needs to power first the sensor. And the sensor will put one power output out, uh, which is all we need for this door activation. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that's stuck to that so it doesn't all stand out so bad. That's good there. Okay, so we need to get that to the sensor on the outside. I haven't got a sub to stand on yet. That's okay. I'll put that down there. Let's get that to that. And we'll put that across there. That's good. And we'll bring it down the side here. That's the sensor directly the other side of the code lock. Not ideal. Only from a wiring point of view, but it's fine. Oh. Why does it do that? So funny. Right. Come on. Power in. Lovely. The power out. Right now, we can set the in exclude others. Browning. Uh, exclude all fries, no. Include others, no. So that should be good. If you set that wrong, it will open the door up to any neighbouring guy with an AK. So you need to make sure you've got that set correctly. If you're not sure, deauthorise yourself from your TC. Run outside and test it. It shouldn't open for you once we're done, of course. Uh, so now this part goes to the door controller, the output. We will, uh, I just need it connecting to the top of that really, but because I can't see what I'm doing because I've got no sub to stand on. Bad planning on my part. And, okay, that's not ideal at all. Oh dear, oh dear. You know what? There you go, that's fine. We can run it along this bit on this edge here. And then up. Just crouch if it doesn't show you the connection. Come on. Come on. There we go. Power in. So now if I activate this. Oh, the battery's got no power, so of course. Oh, it's got enough to do that. Brilliant. Right. Let's get the solar panel wired up. That's what I've got on me. While we're here, I forgot about this quite important point. Let's make ourselves a nice little jetty to the mainland. we ran all the way up like that the planks so you can see this blue texture that goes up and down that means the planks are going to go that way just a little uh, tip if you want them to go the other way then when you lay the foundation look the other way when you put it down
well that <laughs> well that was good I need a little bit more wood okay Ready a lot of doors to go. I've got plenty of wood. Why didn't I take out? Okay. My bad. Lovely. And you can pretty that up however you like by putting a few uh, things like this along it. I think that adds a little bit of, uh, you know. Touch of class. Um, so, solar panel, I just need to get on the roof. So, temporarily, shut this up, and we want some kind of. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, sure. Should be enough, to be honest. No, please don't. You're oh, out. <laughs> okay. So. Quick tip with solar panels of any amount. Look where you are on the map. We happen to be here, which is north of the middle line of this map, which is roughly the 12 line, I guess. If you're north of the line, you want your solar panel looking towards the south, directly to the south, and it will get the most sun during the day uh, to charge your battery. So if we hit a bit of south, there we go. Our battery, this is our boat shed here, the battery is next to the barbecue, it's about here, so I'm putting it here purely to save on cable pane. Uh, so south is that, that away. Lovely. It's morning-ish I think, 16, that's about right. Right, so, uh, one tile, one, two, three, one tile there, one, two, three. So if I put it about there that should be get rid of destroy all that for a minute because I'm happy that we are all good it should be about there and we'll come straight down following the existing cable in that should now start charging it's got five minutes forty seven and it's flying up Good, that is all done. So now, I'm gonna go and buy a sub. Once I get the scrap, we should have some in here. Yeah, we'll buy the big sub, because that's gonna be the fattest of the lot. Just keep a bit of wood on me. Destroy this monstrosity. later. Okay, we are just running there. Let's go get it. Okay, let's get our sub. He sells diving stuff. This is the guy we want. I'll just run straight in. Is there something I can interest you in? I'd like to buy a boat. You betcha. Sub. Large. 300 scrap, bargain actually, because they are very, very good. I don't know if you've used subs yet, but they are good. Look at this beauty. Um, let's press X to change seats, the same way you would do uh, in a heli. Don't really need more than 50 in there, but we'll do it. Right, X. So, W, A, S, and D. Forward, backwards, left and right. Such a great. Uh, control submerges. And because we're in a bay, it's quite shallow. But you can see the bottom, you can see the fish, it's all good. Shift surfaces. Very shallow here. So the gauges are the depth on the right. Not really going to get much depth here, only a couple of metres. Uh, the next gauge along this one doesn't really do much at the moment. The middle one is a radar. Uh, so if there is indeed is that base? There it is. if there is indeed another sub in the area this should flash 
This is your throttle or engine revs. And this one's your fuel level, uh, showing a maximum of 200. Okay, so, gone a bit past our base. Get it submerged a bit. Should have been deeper here than where we were. Yeah. So we can see a lovely base. Now, fast again. They're quite. Actually, it goes faster underwater. It's about. I'll say it's about the speed of a conventional boat. Okay. Now, if I've set this right, it's got a light on the front, which you can control the same way as you do any weapon flashlight. If I've set that right, when I get close, it should go off. Uh, yes. Phew. As I said, when you're in the sub, not as sensitive as it usually is. Hold shift down, and you get a bit of buoyancy. Right, I'm going to do this again, because that is an absolute shambles. Okay, we're lined up on the base. Ish. Okay. Let's get pretty close to the door, it will open because we're in the sub. There we go, and we're in. Turn the light off with F, and the door, as you can hear, closed behind us. Lovely. Sub. Safe and sound. Ready for use. So all good. So as I say, the electrics are optional, but that makes it so much easier to get in and out. Otherwise, you have to jump out the sub, open the door, get back in the sub, get it in, etc., etc. Well, I hope this was uh, useful, and you find uh, if you build a base uh, similar to this, hope you uh, get some use out of it. As I said, this is optional. I find it quite nice to get in and out of the sub. You could just put a wall here just come straight in and you save a little bit of upkeep but for an extra couple of tiles and a shop front to see out to see if any morons waiting out there to try and gun you down or blow your sub up or just give you hassle in general i think that's worth it um yeah so uh enjoy if you uh got any suggestions or ideas by all means leave them in the comments and uh hope to see you again soon Cheers. Goodbye.